Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Space Engineers Building an Empire Episode 3 Part 3 Whichever you like Now the last two episodes were cost effective space stations For the survival guy that wants a easy buildable station that takes not that much time and works really good Now the third space station that I've built and will be the last for a while is is well as you can see not cost effective this thing is well it took me about a week or two to build this thing uh, granted it wasn't on enough time that I took to build it but um, this thing is not cost effective this thing is going to take a lot of resources but it is a lot more satisfying to build now I've called it the Midway Station because I have taken some inspiration from the Midway Station from Stargate Atlantis. So let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? Now also, before we go in, actually what I wanted to show you guys first. As you can see, oh, bit of a lag, uh, do apologize about that ladies and gentlemen. Now as you can see, most of the turrets are on the outside three piers of the space station. As you also can see that the points are rotating ever so slightly. The reason for that is they are all on advanced rotors. Now, there's a good reason that I've done this. Say enemy ships are inbound. Instead of having you, you to move your mouse to follow the tracking target, your turrets can now auto-track the target plus um, move at a safe rate or you can move with the base moving and you can just fire automatically without having to move your mouse. So uh, an interesting concept that I've thought about there which you might consider in your space station designs. Now I do apologize for lag, for some reason this middle center of the space station is a bit laggy so uh, and uh, that's also why I have these three doors open. Now this is a three door airlock system for breaching security reasons as well as um, I just like free doors. Now as we go in here, this is now the central core area of the space station. This is where the normal trading and so forth go. As you can see there's two stairwells leading up to the refinery area. There is a lot of refineries, I don't even know how many there are because there's refineries in front and at the back with arc furnaces as well as a lot of assemblers which, is all, which are all compacted and connected correctly with each other and can work quite nicely with each other. And there are also two control stations to monitor the flow of everything to make sure all the resources are in their correct spaces. Now let's go to the next area. Now as you can see I built this little walkway here with some glass Granted, glass is not the most bullet protected or missile protected place, but uh, it looks nice. So, as we go in here, this is the reactor room. This is the most heavily fortified area in the entire complex. It's four heavy armor blocks thick on all sides top, bottom, sides, and well, top, bottom, and sides. So, it has. Uh, for a 12 large reactors and 120 small reactors in total so this station has more than enough re fuel to uh, fuel the station's needs with refining and so forth now let's head onwards now uh, do bear in mind this is still a work in progress i'm still choosing a color but so far gray is the optimal choice <laughs> now granted this station isn't going to be manned by a one-man crew this is going to be a, a faction at least 10 or 16 people going to all be controlling the station concurrently and uh, monitoring every aspect of this place now as you can see every place that we've been so far has a gravity generator in it now the reason is I have one in that area, and uh, I don't have one in the reactor room, although, but uh, the one in the center core nexus is um, large enough to fit in the core, the power room. Now in here, this is uh, the control station. This is basically the traffic and control station in an airport. As you can see, all the control stations needed to 
manned turrets and uh, guide planes, friendly planes in and out of the station. Now, there is one thing, as you have noticed, we have came also across a walkway. Say that walkway is destroyed, power is cut off. Not necessarily. There are two small reactors beneath the floor rooms to make sure there is power at all times to this room, as well as a gravity generator uh, for reasons that uh, if, if it's just a middle gravity generator, I would be floating right here where I stand now. So, moving on. I'm just flying through because it's a bit more efficient. Uh, as you can see, once again, the lag is a bit weird at the center core. But uh, now we're going on to the hangars. Now, uh, I got some nice red mood lighting for, you know, landing strips and so forth. Uh, this is a hamp fighter that I built just for demonstrative purposes. It's called for heavily armored missile platform. Although it has Gatling guns too, um, I took some inspiration from the Separatist gunship thing. So uh, this thing is uh, quite maneuverable and uh, it's quite armored and strong. Now as you can see there is in total 1, 2 and 3 hangar bays which can all take about 6 plus minus 6 ham fighters. Now, uh, they are all linked here. Now, let's open them up. Let's make sure number one is opening up. Yes, they are. Now, let's go for a little ride outside. And, uh, now this is the f interesting thing. Say you're under attack. 18 hams is going to be more than that for the most enemy would-be attackers. But also... If uh, your hams are otherwise engaged or just scouting for minerals or resources or whatever, this is also a good training operation. The traffic control area is telling mining ships from nearby. Um, you're clear to land at, say, dock in Port 1 because there's room in 1, 2 and 3 are filled or whatsoever. So uh, this is a nice, interesting idea for a full server that is going to require a big hangar base and so forth. Uh, what did I want to show you guys also? Oh wait, let me just get outside quickly. Whoa, there we go. And let's get down here. As you can see, I've also armed a few missile turrets down at the bottom just for some protection, but uh, the main protection is going to be at the top. But uh, this thing is heavily armored for a space station. So, and the turret defenses are going to be more than a match for most attackers, as I said. The only weak point that I've had so far is this walk walkway between the central uh, traffic control area and the central core. But that is basically the midway station, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you liked this tour on the assembling of a fleet episode today. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the, to my YouTube channel and also hit the comments button below to tell, me, to tell us what you like about this series so far what you would like to see from Building Empire or just interesting facts about space engineers you would like to know or have to share but I uh, hope to see you next time guys take care and goodbye